Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanice Reed and welcome to Read All About It, where beauty and confidence has nothing to do with age, gender, or size. Before you go any further, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and let me know how you're feeling down below. So basically, for today's video, I'm going to tell y'all how I found out I was a side chick two times. Two times. This It happened to me the same exact way, twice, right? So first of all, this video was recorded a long time ago. It was supposed to come like two years ago whenever I first started my video. I had dropped a little snippet on Instagram and y'all had told me to drop it. But, you know, I was inconsistent. Whatever. That's beyond the point. So, <laughs> I was a freshman in college, right? No, well, okay, well, all right. One time it happened to me when I was in high school. I was probably like a junior or a senior. So, it was this boy that I will always see, like, on the bus or whatever to get to school because I caught the charter, the charter bus to school. So, I would see him, like, all the time. Like, he went to, like, the school that was, like, five minutes away from me or something like that. So, we would, like, get on the same bus and stuff like that. But we never spoke. One time he had hit me up on, like, either Instagram or Twitter. He was just like, oh, I will see you, da da da, da. So, we started talking. And then we just started to talk more and more and more and more. And like eventually like like we didn't go together but we was talking on the phone all the time. We was texting all the time. Like that was my nigga. Like I would have never thought that he had a girlfriend the way him and I communicated because we would talk all the time. Like when the fuck did you have time to have a girlfriend? Like when did you communicate with your girlfriend? Cause nigga, we I took up all your time. Okay, you was talking to me all night. We was falling asleep on the phone. So when the fuck did you have time to have a fucking girlfriend? Okay, I goes on Twitter, right? I goes on Twitter, and I see him like going back and forth with this girl. So I go on a girl page, and the girl is on Twitter talking about me, like, oh fuck you, go talk to Shanice, go be with Shanice, this that and the third, and I'm like. And I, oh. So, she knows about me. The whole time, I don't know who this girl is, okay? So, I screenshot, okay? Right on my little iPhone 6, 4, whatever the fuck it was. I'm screenshotting, and I said this to him, like, well, what's going on? Oh, uh, that's my girl. She was just going through my phone, and so I was talking, and so, da, da, da. And I'm like, well, when the fuck? Was you gonna inform me that you had a fucking girlfriend? Like, I'm so confused. And then, girl, why is you saying my name on the internet? Like, I got something to do with your shitty ass nigga. Like, girl, no. And I was just like, you know what? I was about to put my middle finger up. But I was like, F you. And like, no, you're weird. And then it was like, after that, we continued to like talk, but like, it wasn't nothing after that because at the end of the day, you got a fucking girlfriend. Like, you shitty as shit. So, why are you still trying to communicate with me? Like, just leave me alone and go about your business. Like, I'm over you. The second, <laughs> the second time I found out I was a side chick, right? <sighs> so, I was a freshman in college, right? And it was this one boy. I don't know. I just started following him on Instagram. I don't know how I came across his page. I really don't know. But I started, I looked at his pictures. I think his page was open or something. Or I don't know how we started following each other. But I'm like, damn, he, you feel me? Like, he cute as shit. This was like my first crush. I never really had a crush on the boy that I felt like, you know what, I'm going to shoot my shot. You feel me? So, like, he was cute as shit. So, like, I peeped, like, he would be up late all the time. I would be up late all the time. So, it's just like, all right. So, I'd be, like, posting shit at the right time. So, I know that this nigga is online. He going to hit me up. So, like, I would post real late. And then he would comment. And then we start comment back. <laughs> I'm cracking the fuck up. Because why was I? <laughs> Yo. Really was shooting my shot low key, but anyway, like post, like I would post, he would post, or if he would post, I would comment, like stuff like that. So you know, eventually it will work its way to him in my DMs, like yo, hit me up or text my phone, which that's what it led to, text my phone. 
boom so i text his phone and we started talking or whatever it was just like real cool like we we had a good little vibe or whatever so after that he had put his twitter on instagram like follow me on twitter so you know me i goes over to the twitter i don't follow him i just goes to be losing on the twitter so i go on the twitter and i see him mentioning females like like they was arguing and stuff so i'm like what so you know me the argument leads me to the next girl page which leads me to the other girl that's arguing it just it just leads me to a whole bunch of unanswered questions so i'm like well what is going on here basically it was two girls arguing over him one was his supposed girlfriend the other one was the supposed side chick that the girlfriend found out about whole time i'm over here in my little cubicle like what the fuck is happening so i would ask him like all the time like do you got a girlfriend do you talk to somebody like what's da -da -da -da? and like he would say no for the longest and then eventually he told me like he was talking to like a girl seriously and stuff like that and it was just like why are niggas like this like I really pursue you for real for real like you know we was just catching a little vibe together why pursue somebody if you have a girlfriend like that's where it blows my fucking mind because at the end of the day I don't know you got a girlfriend but you know you have a girlfriend so why are you still talking to other females like it was just so fucking weird and like eventually we just grew apart because at the end of the day I couldn't keep giving to somebody he over here doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. And it was just like the way it ended, we just really have a real love and respect for each other. And we just kept it pushing. Like it didn't end in a nasty matter or me getting crazy or arguing with bitches on Instagram, arguing with him on Twitter or anything like that. I just stayed in my lane and eventually it just ended. And we just still remain cool or whatever like that. And it's just so funny to think like niggas was really out here telling me sweet nothings whole time had a girlfriend like what the fuck is wrong with people and then like the boy from high school he wanted me to be his girlfriend and stuff i low key was his girlfriend for like two minutes like i just told him yeah because like i don't know i just didn't take him the fuck serious but he really thought we were together i'm like you're a smoking dick like boy no okay i'm just like moral of the story is niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks so bitch you better make sure you clock that nigga 24 7 period you better find out twitters facebook instagrams myspaces uh linkedin's any type of social network that got people communicating with people check it because niggas is gonna lie and they overprotective and shit over their phone and shit like that so bitch you just got snoop you better create a fake page just find out because listen these niggas be out here camping. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, that was a story time about how I found out I was a side chick not once but twice by two different niggas, okay? And I was in two different grades. So I was in high school and then I was in college. So that just shows you that niggas, they don't matter. Niggas is just shitty all uh, over age don't fucking matter but anyway comment down below let me know if you like this type of video story times and i'll do some more thank you for watching